Well, hello and welcome back to our Paleo Pines adventure. It has been a minute since I last played some Paleo Pines, so as soon as I booted up the game today, I had to do like a bit of a refresher on <laughs> where we were last time. I did remember that we're still trying to get to the desert uh, in the game. Um, but I had to kind of refresh myself on like what we needed to do to get there, like what kind of dinosaur would, uh, you know, have the, the slashing ability and that kind of stuff. And so what I think I have redetermined is that I think we have a, a couple dinosaurs now that could potentially, potentially, hopefully, uh, get us to this new area. So one of uh, our dinos is one that's with us right now, Precious Walnut, uh, who is just a Kentrosaurus. And Kentrosauruses do indeed have the slasher ability. So I've been working on trying to get um, Walnut's like trust in me high enough in, in order to do that. Um, we, we've been taking Walnut out on walks anytime that we go out. Um, they have a pen, a large dream stone, they have food, it's clean. I have not for the life of me been able to figure out what Walnut's favorite tree is. Walnut has been very picky. Um, but their, their favorite, like, flavor is, is, uh, fragrant. So if we get any new fragrant snacks, then, um, yeah, I, I need to, to try to feed them to Walnut. And I don't know if last time we played, if, if I started out the day by giving Walnut a snack anyway, like, even though it's not Walnut's favorite snack, maybe just giving them like a, you know, like a blackberry or a blueberry or any of these like ones down here that I've, that I've already tried might boost it just a little bit. But otherwise, I think last time that we played, we got a couple new friends, including Kevin, with just a very small bean, and um, Amethyst too. Amethyst is a Therizinosaurus, hopefully I said that right. Um, and they are also, they also have the slasher ability. So I feel like out of these two, we're more likely to probably get, um, Walnut to the, the trust level first, since, you know, we've had Walnut longer, we've been working on them, Walnut has a pen, you know, all that good stuff. Um, so, so yeah, um, maybe what we'll, what we'll do is, um, I, I don't even know where, where Amethyst is right now. <laughs> they, hopefully they're back home. I think what we're going to do is we're going to go home, see what the situation is looking like there. If I can like make, um, like a pen for, for, um, Amethyst. If my, if my critters have food, I want to say that a couple of my critters, it said that they don't have food, which is not good. <laughs> but like, you know, when these dinos like take up like so much space and you know, it, it's just, and it's so many of them, it's, it's hard to like keep track of, of everybody. So yeah, that's something that I've been, that I've been struggling with. Um, additionally too, so like each of the dinos have like their own references and stuff like that, right? And so for instance, like with um with Amethyst here, Amethyst is a Dapplewood dinosaur. So like I think I need to put them in like a Dapplewood or like a like a forest biome pen, but I don't really have a lot of other um forest dinos other than other than um Kevin. Uh I think, I think that's my only other forest biome dino. So like, I feel like they would kind of want to be separate from the other dinos. Uh, yeah, and it's just trying to, trying to make them all happy is a struggle. <laughs> so maybe what we can start out by doing, if I have enough stuff to, to make another pen, is, is maybe we can go ahead and make a, another pen for, for Amethyst and for, for Kevin. Um, but where? <laughs> and we've got some open space over here in this corner, so maybe that might be a good spot. All right, let's um, let's start by hopping off of our precious bean 
And then I'm going to go over, oh, not here. You can tell it's been a while since I played. <laughs> We're going to go here to my storage. And do I have any stuff to build fence? Man, I have a lot of stuff in my inventory right now. One thing that I was concerned about was if I have food for some of my critters. Because I did notice that raspberry and fern uh, do not have food. And just to make sure, they are herbivores. Perfect. I must have purchased some herbivore food last time that I, that I played. Because I noticed I have a whole bunch, thankfully, in my storage or my, my inventory. One of those things. Poor beans. They were so hungry. Raspberry just like immediately bolted over and she's like, gimme, gimme, gimme. <laughs> okay. Um, so that's taken care of now. Let's put the rest of the food back in there. I guess we'll just go ahead and put our snacks and seeds and stuff that I have in here too. Quest updated more. Okay. We'll, we'll have to give out some stuff. I guess we have some side quests too. Um, but I'm not, I'm seeing five fence in here, which is not really enough to do anything with. I'm also not really seeing any like, um, gates either, which we'll need to like, actually like enclose the, the structure. We do already have a small, um, Oh, okay, we have a small valley sleeping patch in here, but I'm gonna need a forest one, so that's not really gonna help me. So we'll take, I was just gonna take one of those out. Is there an easy way to split these? I think I've like split them somehow before in the past. I just don't really remember how it was, so let's just take the whole stack, that's fine. But yeah, I'm gonna need some more fence and some, some gate. Do I have money to purchase said things? Hopefully. Where does one see money? Uh, is it... It's gotta be somewhere in here, right? Hang on. Hold up. Inventory. We got 2,000 money, so yeah, I think that'll tide us over. Ooh, another thing that I just thought of. I think the shops close up when it hits, like, evening time, and we're, like, pretty close to that. Okay. So if I'm going to... Oh boy. Oh boy. I don't have any stamina to run. Um, if we're gonna go and purchase some fence, I need to book it. I need to book it. Pistachio, don't run from me, please. All right, come along, a precious bean. We are going to book it to the market and hope that I get there before they close up. Hoping, hoping, hoping. I think that it's Marlo that sells the fences and the gates. Marlo's still here. That's painful. That's real painful. Maybe he just works like part of the day, like a half day type deal? Which is not helpful for me, but... Gosh, diggity darn it. Well, well, um, hmm. I mean, my only other alternative would be to either to either wait until tomorrow or take some fencing off of one of my existing fences. But I feel like that's gonna be more trouble than it's worth. So I, I think I like put in a, a decent amount of effort to get these to be the size that they needed to be. So, like I feel so bad, but I think I think that um I think that Kevin and Amethyst might have to go without some pens tonight. I feel so horrible. But I think that's just gonna have to be how it how it has to be. Um but the one thing that I am going to do before we go to bed is I'm going to do that thing where I was talking about giving like a non-favorite snack to to Walnut. See if that helps. Like I'm noticing right now on the like the trust meter, the green uh, circle around the heart, that like it's kind of just like a little over halfway. So like if we go to bed right now, I really don't know if it's gonna get to the level that it needs to. But I feel like I've had it 
happen like randomly before where just like, you know, sometimes it's not even close and the next day they trust you. And then some days where it's like at 99% next day, they don't trust you. So I feel like, I feel like it has a mind of its own. <laughs> Otherwise I'm not understanding the mechanic. <laughs> Could be that too. Blackberry, blueberry, cranberry. Uh, so basically just anything uh, fragrant, right? Yeah, let me let me go into my storage and see like what I have most of that's fragrant. I think that'll be play. So look in here and fragrant. Uh, just gonna hover over some of them. So blackberries, we have four, not a whole lot. Uh, blueberries, we have 23. That's that's good. Um, so could do blueberries. Oh, cranberries, I have 72. Yeah, let's uh, let's do let's do cranberries. Let's do cranberries. Where did I get these apples from? Did I take those out? I must have. Yeah, I think I clicked on them. Don't mind me. <laughs> okay, so uh, we need to find walnut. Walnut, precious bean. Where are you? Walnut, I know you have a home. You silly. Where where is your home? Is is this walnut's home right here? Look in my journal. That ought to tell me. Yeah, uh, walnut is in the pen with oh, lucky pancake and ember. So this is indeed the correct one. I think walnut's just hiding. Possibly? No, oh, walnut's uh, just chilling over there. Walnut, I didn't even see you. Where have you been? <laughs> you silly. <laughs> um. Okay, let's do... I think I done all the pets and stuff for walnut today but i mean we can we can try it again let's do it again because nobody can have too many pets right hopefully all right and then um walnut i know this is not your favorite snack still working on that precious bean but hopefully that'll yeah make you a little bit happier let me let me look in the journal see if trust went up like at all Oh, wow, it did. Actually, a lot. Ooh, 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 ooh. <sighs> We're like, really, like, oh, this is one of those situations where it's like, it looks like it's what, like 80%, maybe a little higher than that. And I'm like, do I go to bed right now? Is, is this the play? Or do I like go out and keep taking you for a run? I don't know. Maybe what I'll do is I'm going to, I'm going to go to I'm gonna, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save. And then I'm gonna go to sleep and, and we'll see how Walnut looks in the morning. Crossing my fingies for some trust. Oh, no trust. So here's the question then. Do we, do we go back to that save? Take Walnut out for like, like a longer run. Um, just one of those things where I'm just like, what more can I do to make you happy? <laughs> um, you, you you doing okay over here, Amethyst? <laughs> Amethyst is like staring me down. I'd probably stare me down too if I didn't give me somewhere to sleep last night. So yeah, there's that. I am noticing that we do have a, a we have a um, forest biome pen over here. Is this, is that Walnut's pen? Um, it is Walnut. I forget that Walnut is a, is a forest biome dino too. So that's probably why they didn't trust me last night. Man, if only I had some, some, uh, some fences. Okay. Here's our game plan for today. We're going to go like straight to, to, um, Marlow. I'm going to, um, purchase some more fencing and a gate. And I think some more, uh, trowels as well. Like at least one more trowel. And um, we'll come back here. We're gonna build a we're gonna build a um a, a pen for for uh, walnuts for 
Kevin and for Amethyst. Yeah. Okay. Probably need to uh, get a, a fair bit of fencing. Uh, so I got Walnut following me. We'll also have um, definitely Amethyst come along. Yoohoo! Over here, Amethyst. Um, will you follow me, please? Thank you. And maybe we'll take Kevin along too, because I know Kevin isn't very trusting of me right now since I you know, didn't give him a proper place to sleep last night. So sorry, Kevin. Kevin! Kevin's like, she'll never catch me. <laughs> Kevin! Yoohoo! Over here! Um, Ke Kevin? Can you, can you follow me? Okay, there we go. Thank you. Thanks, buddy. And we are going to ride on good old pistachio. Pistachio is my speedy bean. All right, pistachio. Come along. We're going for, we're going for a little ride. I think the stores are open, like, first thing in the morning. I don't think I have to wait. Don't think so. So, uh, some of you guys who have been, uh, pre-existing friends of our Paleo Pines adventure thus far, uh, welcome back to the video, by the way. Sorry it was such a, a gap in between our, our last video, but, um, a couple things. Holidays, uh, came up, so I was quite busy with that, but, uh, also other games coming out and, and trying to balance those as well. So what I ultimately decided, I was like, I, I had been streaming uh, this game over on my Twitch channel, by the way, uh, shameless self promo. If you're not following me on Twitch, that would certainly be appreciated. <laughs> um, but I, I decided, okay, I'm like, I really want to continue Paleo Pines, but with my current stream schedule, I'm struggling to make time for it. I was like, I'm just going to do some like uh, pre-recorded content for here on YouTube. So thanks for tuning in. Uh, sorry again for the delay since last time. But um, with that being said, since these will be like just pre-recorded uh, videos, they will be like shorter than our other um, Paleo Pines videos. Um, but but yeah, these each of these uh, newer videos might be around like an hour long. But I'm just excited to be playing again and making some more progress with the game, and I'm really glad that you guys are here too. Okay, so, uh, we want to trade, and how many fences do I want ex- oh, oh, I- I tried that one more time. I, like, right-clicked and I- that was incorrect. Oh wait, you know what I just noticed? So I have some fencing here, but this is a different fence than this one. Where did I get the wooden fence from? I don't even know. Oh, okay. Well, I don't really want to mix fences, so I'm, I don't think I'm going to even use the five wooden fence that I have right now until I can figure out how to get some more of that. Maybe, like, boosting my friendship with Marlo? I don't think there's any way for me to craft it. I don't think I've found any crafting in the game yet. Um, hmm, how much of you do I want? I'm gonna do... I'm gonna do that amount. I think. I'll do this amount. I feel like 35 would be a solid number. Hopefully. <laughs> We'll take one more uh, gate as well, um, and we have a small trowel. The well-fed dino is a happy dino, and then a medium trowel. Oh well, okay, all right. Um, I guess I'm assuming the medium trowel just holds more food. It's good. Let's get that. Yeah. Okay. Well, there goes a lot of our money. Um, our monies. And here's another thing that I want to check on too. With those dinos that I'm putting in, are they all herbivores? Walnut is an herbivore. Uh, Amethyst is an herbivore. And uh, Kev Kevin can go either way. Okay, so I know I just bought a bunch more herbivore food. But I'm kind of thinking maybe I should buy some more. <laughs> 
mean, I did have a lot that I put back in my storage, so like, maybe we'll be okay. Um, I'm gonna buy a little more. I'm gonna buy a little more. She says a little more. How much is a little more? I'm gonna buy that much more. Okay. All right. And then we will go back. We will build pen. Put, um, whatchamacallit, um, dreamstones in said pen. I'm gonna have to move walnuts over to the new pen. And then we'll take care of our critters for today. Crossing fingies that this will be, uh, the day that, that they begin to trust us. I might need to put like some like um like forest themed decor in there too because I noticed the dinos tend to like that as well. Like I have like some valley decor in these other ones, like the flowers and whatnot. I don't think I have any forest decor, so maybe I should have looked into that when I was at the market too. Um, see, so yeah, I just need to make sure that I, that I do that before it gets. Well, I was about to say too late in the evening. That's stuff that I purchased from Marlo too, isn't it? And we have since found out that Marlo does not work until evening time. He he leaves a little early. So maybe if I get there before like the midday mark, oh, that's gonna get here quick. Um, why did I hop off of Lucky? Is uh, I need Lucky to do some cleanups over here. Thank you, Lucky. Appreciate you, ma'am. And a little bit here too. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So we're gonna hop off of you. I'm thinking this spot here for our for our cleanup, um, or for our cleanup for our pen. Let me just make sure. So walnut requires 25 square meters of space. Amethyst requires 50. Um, but Kevin only requires 12. So I'm I'm hoping space will be like big enough for them um see we'll see uh okay so try to remember how to do things now take you and let's pull that out a bit and we'll go over towards this side and just bring that all the way over a little bit too far that way and bring that like that and we will need a gate where do i want to put it i think that spot right there might be pretty good all right so let's put that there and how big is this space i think there's a way it can tell you maybe if i hold this all right so this is 66 square meters so i need I need more than that. I, I do. Oh. So this is not gonna work. And the unfortunate thing is I don't think I can really expand this either without like completely, you know, like covering up the house or covering up there. So that's that's sucky. Um I do still have 18 vents here. But I I used like 18 or 19 fence maybe maybe less than that um just to make this so i feel like i'm gonna have to take some of that fence back okay um talking about you know things like sticking out i'm not really crazy about how this sticks out here i might have to make some adjustments to that fence too but yeah maybe we can um maybe we can make a fence over here do I have a critter that can break these logs? I feel like I do. They are really in the way. What what can do that? Um could it be like raspberry or fern? Could they do could they do that? Um sm they're smashers, so I think they do the the the, the rocks. Sprinter, Stomper. Okay, so our Ankylosaurus is a Stomper. And I think that's what does the logs. 
You know I have an Ankylosaurus. Who are you? Which one's my Anki? It's, it's Merlot. Merlot is my Anki. Okay. So if I bring Merlot over here, we could clear up some of these big old logs and um, maybe create a, a decent space for, for some new dinos. Top off of you. And then go over here to Merlot. Hi, Merlot. Nice to see you. Come along, you precious bean. We got some work to do today, my friend. I like how it just jiggles along. Look at that booty. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so I'm thinking either like maybe in that corner or like over here. Um, let's get these big logs out of the way first. And they're massive. Just like Merlot's booty. <laughs> get it, Merlot. Alright, uh, let's get these ones too. Boop. And... Got a lot of logs to break back here. Have I done, like, any of the logs back here before? Does that look, look like I have? an interesting sound. Do they always sound like that? I wouldn't sound like a space asteroid or something like that. <laughs> sounded different to me. I don't think the other ones sounded like that. It's so weird. <laughs> okay, all right. It's gonna log from space. Getting to the end of our stamina here. We can do one more hit. Let's do it on this small one. I think we can break it. There we go. Oh! Well, about that one more hit thing, wasn't foreseeing that we were going to level up. So uh, actually, we've got a little bit more. Let's, um, we've got enough for three more hits. Would that be enough for this big log? We'll find out. Oh, I, I said three more hits, actually, four. And we can go over here and, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna break, I'm gonna break this one. If I had thought about it, I probably would have broken this one too in case I end up putting the fence in this corner. But this is fine. This is totally fine. Okay, so now we have room for fence. Um, yeah, maybe I will like try over here in this corner first. And I, I think I am going to have to take back those fences that I put down before because I think this is going to have to be pretty big. I think. Let's just, let's just go ahead and take them. Um, so, I'll do. Uh, go into like this menu. Yeah, let's take them that way. Is there a way to pick them up all of them like at once? Oh, no, that's not what I wanted to do. Oh, creep. up. Creepy, creep, creep. I don't think there is. Be nice if there was like a button to like pick up like all connected fences, you know? Something like that. Alright, so we have plenty of fence once more. So I'm going to go back over here. And okay, let's let's think about this. So one of our dinos amethyst requires 50. Um, Walnut requires 25, and then Kevin is 12, so we are going to need math. It's quite early still here. Um, <laughs> we're going to need 87 uh, square meters. I think so. I think so. Okay. All right. So let's let's see about making 87 square meters. I don't know how far I want this to come out. Um, let's start like going over this way and like, we'll see if this is enough. Okay. And 
then we need to switch over to gate. Oh, not what I meant to do. Try that again. Okay, all right, so then let's get out our book. This is 70 square meters, so we still need some more. Uh, will one more row be enough, I wonder? So we have like one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I think this was 70 right now. So I think that's just gonna put us like two under, unfortunately. So I'm gonna have to come out like two spaces, I think. I mean, I could like do like a break in it where it's not coming like all the way out that way. I mean, that's that's a possibility too. Um. They don't need they don't need all of that space. Um Oh, decisions. Um We still need 17 meters. So What if we do One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine is the next one. All right, so I think if we have it like come out this way a couple, I think that will be sufficient. That way we can have like kind of like a differently shaped end too. It's not just like a perfect rectangle. If my math is correct, then I think I think this should work. I think sh this should put us like maybe like one over, which is is totally fine. More is fine. Less is not. So then, where do I want to put the fence? Maybe maybe on this side, since like we walk from here. I thought I feel like that might make sense. Okay, is that enough? We need 87. We have 86, no way. <laughs> I was just a little bit short, just a little bit short on my math. Okay, so, so this is this is an easy fix. Um, let's go back into here and we'll erase you, erase you too. We need to step back a little bit. Okay. Now I think it should be good. I think so. So. Okay. All right. 88. Perfect. <laughs> so now what I need to do is I'm going to hop on pistachio here. I'm going to go and grab mer uh, Walnut's uh, house. Walnut's going to be ha not going to be happy for a second. Walnut's going to be like, where are you taking my bed? Which is an understandable reaction. If someone like walked in my house and took my bed, I would be pretty upset too. All right, then we're gonna hop back on you. We are going to go to our new pen. How much are our fencing to be used there? We have 14 left, okay. I don't know if that'll be enough for like another new pen. I guess it depends on the size of the dinos, but yeah. And we'll hop off of you. We are going to put Walnut's new, uh, or you know, old house or old bed in this new house. <laughs> Maybe put it right over here. It's like kind of shaded under a tree. Be kind of this. It said Kevin has a new home. Wait. Ke Ke Kev Kevin? Kevin, this bed is a little bit a little bit big for you, buddy. This is not this is not your home, my dude. Kevin, I don't think you can even sleep in there. Am 
I like see some details on this? <laughs> I was wondering if I could like see like who's sleeping in it. Kevin, are you trying to sleep here? As Pen, Kevin, this is not no. <laughs> no. <laughs> um, but you know what's interesting is it's saying that Walnut still has a pen, even though I took Walnut's bed out. All kinds of confuzzled right now. Maybe what I'll do is, um... Wait here, see you later. Um, follow me. I, I think there is an option for like a, a dino to like tell them like this is your home but i don't think there's an option to be like this is not your home don't you even dare to try to sleep here <laughs> that's kind of what i need right now okay let's get out this again i'm gonna talk to uh walnut here we're gonna say follow me and then let's go back over to that uh that pen and see what we can do be lovely if I had some stamina to run a little bit faster. I would like that. I would like that a lot. Okay. Alright. So. So. Walnuts. Walnut, this is your new home. You liking it? Walnut has a new home. Pickle is happy and Lucky is happy. Were, wait, were they just not happy having Walnut? in their home? That's pretty messed up. Poor Walnut. They're like, yes, he's finally out. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> oh, Walnut, we're gonna, we're gonna make a happier place for you. I did just see it hit midday, so, um, I don't know if, if, uh, Marlo's still gonna be there later, but we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Um, so, the other thing that I need to do is put down the other dream stone for, for, uh, somebody, um, for Amethyst, uh -huh. and we need to put down the small little one for Kevin, since Kevin was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna take this nice big bed here. There we go. Okay. So, does Kevin know that this is his home? I think he does. Yeah, Kevin knows that this is his home, but who does not know is Amethyst. So let's go and try to find Amethyst. Do that. Didn't take too long to find Amethyst. Amethyst, you're such a big bean. <laughs> oh, uh, so Amethyst, if you could follow me, please. Yeah, come along, you precious thing, you. And uh, we will plop you right in here, my friend. Boop, boop, boop. Okay, Amethyst has a new home. So we got our three dinos in here. I think they have enough space. Um, so what we need to do, if I can, hopefully, is upgrade these dreamstones so they'll be a bit happier and trust us a little bit easier. Um, so we need 15 wood in here. Have plenty of that. Um, from breaking all of those logs that we did. <laughs> we need some more fiber. I'm gonna need some dandelions and some clovers as well. So let's, let's go and see. Oh, oh, you know what I just realized? Oh, wait, hang on. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Scrap. Well, that, did it give it back to me? I think it did. Um, what I realized... Thank goodness I realized it before we screwed up. They don't need the valley ones, and that's what I was about to make. I need a I need a forest one. Okay. Here's a potential problem. So from what I remember last time that we were playing, the forest wood is like really like difficult to like to find. So I don't even know if I have any of that in my storage, uh, but we'll see. For the forest one, I need forest wood. Fiber and mushrooms. Okay. Let's, uh, let's see. Excuse me. Pardon me. 
trying to get through. Got some big dino booties in my face. Let's start by putting, let's start by putting some stuff away. Oh, and I need to put the, oh, I need to put the trowel in there too. Can't forget to do that. Oh, I do have some more herbivore food. We'll take that as well. Um, that can go in. These can go in. And what I was going to look for was uh, some mushrooms, some fiber. A little bit of fiber, not a whole lot. Um, mushrooms. Surely I have mushrooms, right? Right? Uh, I do have mushrooms. But the forest wood? Uh, do I have forest wood? Oh my gosh, I do! I have 40! <gasps> I think that might be enough for the two, um, for the two dreamstones. I think what I might not, might not have enough of is the fiber, but if we do some more cleanup around our lot, I might be able to get that. All right, so let's take a gander. 20 wood going in here, 10 mushrooms going in, and we do have enough, um, fiber for this one. I don't think we're gonna... Oh, I was about to say, I don't think we're going to have enough for the small one. We might. We might. We'll see. Large patch. <gasps> Look at it. Oh my gosh. I didn't know it was going to do this with all the flowers and the mushrooms. Oh, that makes me so happy. Oh, I really, <laughs> I really like that. I like that a lot. Okay. All right. Let's uh, make this one a, a thing too. It's very interesting that the the small sleeping patches and the large ones take the exact amount of resources. I was like, surely it'll be less for um for the small one, but no, that is that is in fact not the case. Um, so yeah, let's um let's try to get some fiber, and I think you could get some fiber from like cleaning up like the wood scraps and stuff. I think we did some of that when we were cleaning up with Lucky earlier. So let's grab Lucky again and see if we can get some more of that. Lucky, you precious thing, you. Come along. So, fiber. Let's see if we can get some from these. Got wood and stone from that. Wood. Wood. More wood. Um, fiber. We got we got one fiber. Some more over here. Okay. So I think I just need like four more fiber at this point. Oh, oh, that drop. Oh yeah, that dropped two. Got another one there. I think if we get like one more, we'll be okay. We have, an, we have enough now. Okay, all right. There's a lot of cleanup that needs to be done over here. We'll, we'll have to come back to that. <laughs> but for now, I want to try to get these dinos as happy as possible, as quickly as I can. So let's go back in here. Let's uh, drop some more fiber in there. Firm and build. There we go. Oh, but um, it's a little bit turned around here. So um, let's see if we can we can adjust this a little bit. I don't know if there's a way for me to like kind of pick it up with, or like move it without fully picking it up. I hate to make my dinos have a panic. Like, what are you doing? Taking my home again? I hate that this like little like herb here is like blocking the entrance to the house, but <laughs> what do you do? Okay, so they, they have a home. Uh, we also need a trowel. So they can eat, eat, you know, eating is important. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that trowel right there. Yeah, there's like four slots for food here. Wow, wow. That'll hope, hopefully keep them fed for a minute. And um, now maybe we can give them some um, pets. Let's give them some pets. Pets are very important. Lots of love. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That's for walnuts. Let's try to give some pets to Amethyst here. 
Amethyst is like, do not bother me right now, I'm eating. <laughs> Which is a mood. I, yeah, I don't like people bothering me when I'm eating too. <laughs> and some loves for Kevin as well. Um, I think someone mentioned to me that if you do their friend call uh, to them each day, that can also boost the, the friendship. So maybe let's try to do that too. So for Amethyst, we have, I can never tell if it's like a, a like a medium um, note or a, or a big note. I'm gonna say that these are medium maybe. Okay, so let's do, Oh, did that work? I, I thought I was calling for Amethyst. Okay, apparently that was for Walnut. Okay, well, I needed to do one for Walnut anyway. Now, now let's try Amethyst. And so Amethyst's call is, yeah, I can see the two and the three rings now. Okay, so it's this, that, big one, small, big, small, and then big. That work? You liked it? Okay, good, good. I'm happy to hear it, Amethyst. And then same thing for our precious friend Kevin over here. Kevin is small, small, medium, small, medium. There we go. Okay, hopefully they like that a little bit. The other thing that we will do is uh, some snacks. Because what's a day without some snacks, right? I want to say our new twoest, our, our twoest, Oh, wow, let's try that again. Newest two friends. <laughs> That's a mouthful. We haven't tried any snacks on. Yeah, so we got to do some testing here today. Okay, so Amethyst likes, um, what do you like? Amethyst likes fragrant snacks, so we'll get all of our fragrant snacks out. And then Kevin likes crunchy snacks. Okay, let's go to our storage and we will try some things. Oh, I keep wanting to go to my mailbox to access my storage. This kind of look like a like a little itty bitty storage box if you think about it. <laughs> so we'll put away some of those things that we don't need right now. And what is this? <gasps> Dapplewood mushroom lantern. Hey, we already have some forest um furniture in here. I had no idea. Oh gosh, I was I was so worried that like I wasn't going to have like some some forest furniture, but we do. Got to put that in there. Hopefully they make them a bit more happy. You know one thing that I just thought about though, if I put that furniture in there, like I put the trowel in there, I wonder if that technically cuts down on their space. I might need to like add on some more fencing just in case I need to. I'm going to bring that with me too. Hopefully I'll have room for that with all the uh furniture stuff. Um, some valley furniture that I could put out and some pens as well. Okay, so um, crunchy and fragrant. Crunchy, crunchy, fragrant, fragrant. Are we about to get out like all of our snacks here? Crunchy. Um, not a clover. Okay, fragrant. 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 Crunchy. Fragrant. Maybe what I need to do, I might just need to do like fragrant first. Let's, let's, let's do that. Okay, so fragrant. Not fragrant. Fragrant. That's fragrant. This is too. That's crunchy. That's fragrant. This is... Crunchy and crunchy. Okay, all right. So we're just gonna focus on fragrant first because I don't have room to put the crunchy as well. Um. Okay. So, thinking of where I left off. <laughs> fragrant. 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 Okay. I think that's all for my fragrance. So, uh, who was, who was fragrant again? Was it, was it, uh, either Amethyst or Kevin? 
It's it's amethyst that likes fragrant. Okay, all right, let's go over to amethyst then, and let's uh, do some trial and error with this. See see what amethyst hopefully loves. Let's see. Okay, so let's try the good old blackberry first. Quite the delicacy. What do you think about this amethyst? You like blackberries? They're like same color as you and everything. Right off the bat, let's go. Okay, sweet, very nice. So now when we go in here, favorite treats, blackberry, awesome. Um, I am gonna try the other ones though to see if we can come up with any other um, favorites. So I think dinos can have up to four favorites, something like that. Amethyst, you're great. Amethyst, Amethyst is like, I don't care what it is. I just love food. <laughs> Good to know. Um, Amethyst, here's some dandelion for you. You love this too? All right, do not love the dandelion. First one that it wasn't like, wow, this is amazing. All right, so I'm gonna write down dan dandelion. Spell that right, is it two L's or is it just one L? Oh boy, I'm just gonna do one L for now and I can come back if it's two. The two, it's one, sweet, okay. We'll try blue betty next. Were you shaking your booty? Yeah, you like these snacks, don't you? <laughs> Amethyst, you are amazing. Just really digging everything that I give you, except for the dandelion. But to be fair, I would not like dandelion either. Gooseberry as well. So I was saying that I think each dino can have up to four likes or four favorites. But now I'm questioning, did I make that number up? Let's just go ahead and try the rest of them, just, just in case, just in case. They can have more than uh, four likes, okay. <laughs> Alrighty then. Um, peaches, 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 peaches. Don't run away from me, Amethyst. I'm trying to give you more food. Oh my gosh! Wow! This is like the most unpicky dino I have ever had in my entire playthrough. Um, um, Amethyst? Are you not hungry? Can we not give you any more snacks today? Oh, we can give you some more snacks today. You just weren't in a good place. be like more snacks on that page and there's actually like room on the page. <laughs> the dev just, they, did they put out some kind of update since I last played that like increased like the amount of snacks like each dinosaur wants where they're like less picky? Look at how many favorite treats there are. <laughs> I have never seen that many on, on a dinosaur's list before. Like here, for instance, Lucky, we got three for you, um, two for Ember, one for Merlot, and then, and then we have Amethyst over here who likes one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There was only one thing that we gave Amethyst that they did not like. That was crazy. <laughs> oh man. All right. Well, uh, Amethyst, we gave you a whole lot of snacks today, my friend. So if you are not happy, not trusting us after today, um, we might have a problem. Let's put all of those uh, fragrant snacks away, and then we are now going to get out the crunchy. Oh, and I still did need to look too about the, um, the the space in there, but maybe I'll do that after I place those furniture pieces. The so crunchy, crunchy, crunchy. Okay, no, no, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. Um. <clears throat> Frenchy. Frenchy. All right, 
seems like that's all of our crunchies. So we don't have as many to try on precious little Kevin here, but we have some. So Kevin, what do you think about apples? Off to a really good start with Kevin too, okay. Kevin, peppers? All right. Did they had to do some kind of like updates since I last played? Cause like last time that I played, you know, you were lucky if you found like one really favorite thing. And like now it's like, they like everything. <laughs> It kind of makes me want to go back to my other dinosaurs that I've already tried. Okay, he didn't like garlic. That's okay, more garlic for me. And potatoes. Okay, all right, so we found a couple things that Kevin didn't like. But still, like, really, uh, not what I'm used to. So, uh, garlic and potatoes are what um, Kevin does not like. Okay, well, um, and look at this, guys. When you look at Kevin's like meter here at the top, it's fully green. Same with Amethyst too, not with Walnut. Um, but like, granted, I haven't given Walnut any snacks today and I probably should. Walnut was, uh, was fragrant. Let's, um, Let's get a cranberry out for a walnut. Mm, if I can find my cranberries, I just go in here. Uh, there we go. There's my cranberries. So then we're gonna go back over here. Let's give a cranberry to, to walnut. And if these dinosaurs don't trust me after today, I'm gonna be shocked. Um, I'm fully expecting at least Amethyst and, and um, Evan at this point to, to trust me, since it does show them like full on the on the circle. Here we go, little walnut. There's a yeah, snack for you too, you precious thing. Okay, so I've got a couple foresty decor items that we can put in here. And is where do I want to put them? Hmm. Um. Maybe we could put the lamp. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Do I want to just put it like out, like somewhere? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, we have put the lamp there, and then we also have this planter box too. So I might put like close to the the fence line. put it right there. Okay, all right. So hopefully those things will make them feel a little bit more at home. But did that cut down on their total space? Let's find that out. It still shows um, 80 meters squared, so the, the, the trowel and everything did not uh, cut down on their space. So that's, that's really good. That's good. Okay, so um, I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling confident about uh, tomorrow, but before we get some sleep, let's just uh, spend a bit more of our stamina to do some, some cleanups and stuffs. This place is absolutely filthy. I could maybe get um, fern or raspberry to come over here too to do some rock smashing. I don't know if we're gonna be able to get to all the rocks, but all these logs in the way, but I feel like they could definitely get to some of them. We can do maybe three more. Must have like accidentally done some running with Lucky because I noticed they're not like quite a, like a rounded number. Probably could have gotten one more if I hadn't done that, but oh well. Uh, so I might as well just use up the rest of the stamina to run. And who do I need? 
We, uh, I think we used up all of, yeah, we used up all of Merlot's to break the logs. So let's, um, get one of these big friendios. Gonna hop on Raspberry first, because I think Raspberry has a bit more stamina. Man, Raspberry, you are... <laughs> we, we were talking about Badonka Donks earlier. They got a, a, a trunk, to say the least. Man, are they slow to get around. Jeez, we'll get there in like 10 days from now. I wonder if it's going to be like enough um, rocks for me to need to bring like fern over too. We might, we might uh, be able to bring fern over today as well. Over here. Well, that's gonna be fun. <laughs> but I actually have just gone through that way right there. Was that actually cleared out? And I didn't even realize it. I think that was actually cleared out. So I just went like a completely roundabout way. Don't mind me. It's totally fine. It's fine. But we'll know for fern. I thought I hadn't cleared out that way yet for some reason. Yeah. All right, cool beans. It's terrific. <laughs> oh, Raspberry got a level up. Level seven now. Very nice. GG, Raspberry. And I think three more hits. Oop. Oop. And one on this one. So yeah, we are going to need Fern to do some more cleanup over here today. So let's uh, hop on you to get to Fern a little bit faster. See what we can do with uh, with Fern. I don't know if I have any other Rock Smashers other than Fern and Raspberry. Um, but I'll, I'll take a look. <laughs> Fern's like, please don't hop on me. <laughs> Anything but that. Oh, and a uh, last thing that we'll probably need to do too is do some uh, uh, pen cleanup because with me just like frantically trying to set up that one pen today, I don't think I cleaned up any of the other ones. We need to make sure that our precious beans are happy. All right, bloop. And, oh, that's like some chonky rock over there. I'm surprised I was able to fit through there. Burn got to level five, very nice. Can we get to these big chonky rocks? Oh, mm, it doesn't seem like it. Maybe if I go from like another way. Oh, can I not get around these? Ooh, okay, I don't think I can get around these. Okay, so um, yeah, we might not be able to get to that big one today, but that's totally fine. We have some other ones that we can do too. It's not the size of the rock that matters. We can do two more hits. Let's like finish up this one over here that like raspberries like still like pointing out to us. <laughs> oh, I was gonna say go over there, but um, I'm kind of like blocked in here. I really don't want to go around either. So let's let's just do a couple hits on this one. Okay, all right. Thank you very much, Fern. Served us well, baby bean. Appreciate you. Oh, and hey, look, there's a uh, there's a trowel over here. Very nice. Didn't even need to uh, to buy one for uh, for my other dinos, but granted, having that medium one is really quite nice. So I'd really like to get some more medium ones or large ones once we unlock that. I'm assuming um, for like our other pen, like the one with Lucky, because I think they have like four dinos in there, which is quite a lot. Okay. So um, speaking of other pens, how are we looking? Two dinosaurs are unhappy. Not enough food in the trowel. Well, let's uh, let's do some fixing in that, shall we? If I had some food on me, you know, theoretically. What I could have done is move that medium trowel over to their pen since they have more dinos in there. But um, it's all good. We can get another medium trowel soon, TM. So let's put those things back in there. Um, and I'll probably need my shovel too, so that we can do some um, some some poop -a scoopins. Right, 
so more food for you guys. Perfect, perfect. Is everybody happy in here now? I think it, oh, well, uh, it looked like they, it said they were happy, but still have the poops. So uh, let's, let's do some stuffs here. Oh, I forgot stamina. Thankfully we can still clean up even without stamina. We just need to oh, take a little poops in um, every so often after that. <laughs> I think it was just that one, one little, little poopsie. I think just the one little poopsie. And how are we looking now? We're happy. What a great pen. Okay. All right. Perfect. How are we looking over here with raspberry and fern? What a great pen. Perfect. And then last but not least, let's take a gander over at this one. Too unhappy. Not a, oh, not enough food in the trowel. Oh, you know what I think I'm gonna have to do until I purchase some more food. I was like over here, like oh yeah, I've got plenty of food. I don't need to purchase any more. <laughs> About that. Um, I think I'm gonna have to take some food out of. Um, I'm gonna take some food out of the new forest uh, pen, and we'll put it in the um. Put it in the uh, one for our other friendios because I really don't need that much for them. If we take out that. That's that should be fine. Okay, okay. So back over here and put the food in there. Is everybody happy now? Pen looking good. A great pen. All right, so friends, moment of truth. Uh, we're gonna go over here, we're gonna save, we're gonna go to sleep and cross fingies that we have either like walnut or amethyst trusting us. now a helper <laughs> what the heck <laughs> are you serious it said that like amethyst was like full circle too <sighs> like i'm trying to think what more i could have done and the only other thing that i can think that i could do um, which I'm genuinely considering going back to that save that we did before we went to sleep. Um, I think I might do that. Um, the only other thing that I didn't really do yesterday was take them out of lot and go for a walk. Cause I know that the dinos really like that too. So what I think we will do is we will, we will load back to uh this this save here and we will take the dinos for a little bit of a walk uh maybe potentially even um complete some of our i think we have like some side missions that we can take some stuff to people's and that kind of deal um so that'll be a good excuse to take out our dinos but i sadly uh run out of time for this episode so what we will do is next time we play we will load into here and we will um we will take walnuts and and um amethyst for a walk and we'll see if that will do the trick oh, i would love to get them to the level that i need them to be today but we'll see we'll see thank you guys so much for tuning into this episode and thanks so much uh, for your patience i know it's been a, a bit of a gap in between this episode and our last one but i'm looking forward to making some more paleo pines content continuing this game and uh and finishing it um excited to see where it goes thanks for watching see you in the next one take care